Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I've got a bit of a, uh, what should we call it, I'm going to give away one of my bird keeping secrets. Uh, now one of the things I love doing, I, I've done it for many many years, uh, I have been keeping birds now for nearly 40 years. Um, what I love doing is making my own uh, shell grit mix. Now of course you can uh, buy your own uh, mix straight off the shelf, something like this, which is a, a Vetifarm True Grit, which is a mineralized grit, which is that sort of a red grit there. Uh, and you can buy that, you can buy uh, all the way up to your sort of uh, finer shell grits like this, straight off the shelf. Uh, this is another one I think I just get from my local pet store, which is a larger, larger sort of shell. Uh, and then, of course, you can get things like your uh, tonic bells, calcium bells. Uh, I've got, uh, you can buy crushed eggshells for them, of course. You've got stuff like calcium, um, sorry, calcium, charcoal as well, which is really great for birds. Uh, some people even put that in their nest boxes. Uh, and then you've got other stuff as well, which is a bit bigger, like oyster shell. Um, and that actually comes mixed with charcoal. Uh, and another great one, uh, just to overload you <laughs> with information, is uh, these mineral blocks, which are also great for birds. Now, this is something uh, pigeon fanciers use a lot of, uh, but of course, uh, anything that's good enough for pigeons is great for your birds at home. Uh, now, this is the the mix I actually make. Now, uh, currently, I'm only keeping uh, finches. So I want a, a quite a fine mix. So what I usually do is I have a, a shot glass here and this sort of, uh, this amount would last them, you know, quite comfortably a week, if not more. I just sort of top it up as needed. As you can see, it's pretty fine and it's a, it's a quite a mix of uh, grits that I use. I'm going to show you today, uh, yeah, how I make it. And uh, I really, I really became bit more obsessed with making a sort of more of a mineral style grit like this when I started keeping Gordian finches many years ago. I find it very uh, beneficial for them. Um, but yeah, of course, I give it to uh, parrots when I keep them, uh, so hookbills, of course, as well as uh, my finches. Um, and at the end of this video, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a look, hopefully, of uh, <laughs> some of my finches enjoying this, uh, this grit mix. So I'm going to take you through the ingredients first of all, and uh, then I'm going to show you uh, how I come up with the, the end product. So I'm just going to put a lid there. Now, as I already uh, showed you, there's quite a, a bit of a mix in this grit. Um, now, one of the most important things I find is charcoal. Uh, this is charcoal I buy from uh, a finch club here in Australia. Uh, you can just buy it by the bag. I've got a few bags of it. Um, it's actually a really good size already. Uh, you know, finches will chew on it, parrots will definitely chew on it. Um, but I do like to make it a little bit finer. Um, but that's going to be ingredient number one, which is uh, charcoal. And I know this charcoal is safe. It's not got uh, any poisonous wood in there. Uh, the second part I'm going to be using is, uh, yeah, some of this Veta Farm True Grit. Um, love this stuff. Uh, I have used it just by itself, um, and it's fine. Uh, but I do like to, uh, yeah, like I said, make my own. So this is definitely one of the ingredients. Um, now, some of this packaging will have uh, where to look them up on, which is uh, handy for you. So if you are interested in any of this stuff, you can check out the uh, YouTube or website there, whatever. Um, so that's actually a new bag of it. I've actually got another bag um, of it here in a tub ready to go. Now, that's already fine. That's a fine uh, grit, so I won't be chopping that up at all. So that's going to go in as, as is. Uh, now this is uh, a grit that I buy. Um, now I've actually emptied out these tubs because I use these tubs for storing other things, <laughs> which is uh, grit and mineral, mineral boxes. Uh, but this is the brand here, just from my one of my local pet stores. And this is the actual product that's inside it. Now that's a, it's quite a large, uh, if you can, really get a scale of it there. It's quite a large shell. Um, 
Now, again, for something like rosellas or, you know, a lot of the other birds that we keep here in Australia, that's fine. Um, but I actually want to make that a little bit finer for, uh, for my finches. So I'm going to be uh, chopping up a little bit of that and, uh, yeah, making that into a fine grip. Uh, I also have here your traditional, I've got a, a quite a large bag of it. Uh, what, what, I guess, here in Australia would be our standard um, grit like for budgies etc which is a, a very fine shell um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you there but there are little shells in there as well as little pieces so that's like a fine shell grit really it's um, it's this kind of shell uh, ground up um, but I like the uh, the texture of this and the quality of this I've been using this uh, all my life this kind of shell grit and I absolutely love it uh, so some of that's going to be going in and again that's not going to be chopped up it's going to be as is uh, another one here is some oyster shell now this actually comes with some charcoal in it I don't know if you're going to be able to see through there but anyway oyster shell is a, a thicker stronger shell uh, but it's really good I'm going to be chopping that up and that's going to be going in as well. That's probably the last of what I have of that. So I may have to actually buy some of, more of that sometime soon. Uh, next up. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be... I'm going to be taking a hammer <laughs> to this tonic bell and calcium bell. Breaking it up into smaller pieces. And then I'm going to be putting that into the mixer as well. So there's going to be... Uh, we're going to chop that up reasonably fine. And that's going to go into the mix. So that's obviously uh, the tonic bells. You know, birds can eat those straight the way they are, but uh, yeah, I just like to put it all all in at once into my grit. Um, I find the birds love to peck through it and get through, get all the pieces they like. Um, so yeah, that's going to be added in. I've also got eggshell here, which is uh, I guess you can call it a crushed eggshell. Uh, that doesn't need any chopping. That's already. Uh, crushed up and nice and fine uh, this is really important for finches when they're uh, when they've got eggs and breeding and uh, young finches especially uh, they love this stuff I mean they go crazy over crushed egg now when I put some into my grit mix but then when they are breeding I give them extra so uh, this is sort of an as-needed mix but I, d I do add it into my grit mix so that's going to be going in a little bit of okay bear with me there's even more <laughs> uh, now another thing I really come to have loved are these mineral blocks now I think I showed you earlier one of the blocks there uh, which is the mineral block now this one I believe is like a I believe it's called an egg egg mineral block or something it's exactly the same brand um, but it's this yellow form now I find uh, most birds love this clay uh, red clay one um, and this one's not as popular, but some of the birds really like this. So I always do put some of this in. Now, this is uh, very crumbly, as you can see here. It just crumbles. Uh, it's just like a little clay block. So birds can easily peck at this. Um, but I just crumble this up, uh, like you can see in the bottom here, and put that straight into the mix. Now, that doesn't need to be chopped up. Um, and if the birds are really going through it, I actually just maybe chuck a, a bit of a block in there as well. It's quite cheap, um, readily available. Uh, I'll just show you the packaging again, and that's this uh, this product here. This stuff is so good, it's fantastic. Now, I presume it would be available uh, wherever you're located, but um, if not, maybe uh, have a look online and see if you can find it. But this stuff's so good. Um, I was put onto this here yeah, quite a few years ago, um, and I've never looked back. This stuff is fantastic. Birds absolutely love it. Okay, so my final product is uh, cuttlefish, which of course everyone out there would probably know of already. Uh, birds love this. You put it in the aviary and they just chew away at it, peck away at it. It's really great for them. Um, I actually buy this uh, in pretty decent quantities uh, when I do catch up with an older guy um, that collects this. And uh, look, I could go collect it myself, but I really like to buy it off this guy. Um, he spends a lot of time collecting it. He has big and small pieces. And I grab the small pieces to put in my mix here, which we're going to chop up. Um, and of course, it's always available to them in the cage. And uh, in that instance, I use larger pieces, but I'm gonna put in some small pieces today and we're gonna chop that up. You might be asking, how do I chop it up? Well. Uh, this is how I chop it up. I use a uh, little coffee grinder. 
Um, uh, this thing's fantastic. You just put in the amount you want and of course you just press it as much as you think you need, how fine you want to chop it up, and you just pour it out. It's, it's great. It's really good value. Uh, I believe this was maybe about $20. Uh, so it's a really good buy. Um, so all I'm going to do as I go along, um, I'm going to be choosing each item that I want to chop up. I'm going to put it inside here and then chop it up as finely as I want to and add it into my mix. And then uh, at the end of it, we'll have a really nice uh, topped up <laughs> shell grit mix. Um, now you might say, oh, why do you bother putting so many things into it? Well, you know, I, I'm one of those people. I do go overboard with everything. Uh, when it comes to my uh, pets, I really love to give them um, everything that they can have. Um, and look, some of them might not touch some of the ingredients in this mix. Uh, others, others will. Uh, but yeah, I just like to, I like to provide it for them. And look, it's, it, to be honest, it's a bit of fun making up your own mix. And, uh, and as you'll see, like I said, at the end of the video, I'll put it in and you'll see the birds really love it. Um, they really love getting into it and uh, picking through it. Whereas I find if you just put in a normal mix, they'll just sort of come and um, have some sort of now and then, and they're not that excited about it. It's like, you know, if you if you give someone just some uh, boiled potatoes <laughs> for dinner, they're not going to be as excited as uh, like a four-course meal. So I really like uh, providing as much as I can for them. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to go through... Uh, what I might do is, as I chop up each component that I'm going to chop up, um, we'll give you a bit of a look at it and I'll show you how fine I get it. Okay, so first cab off the rank is going to be this uh, heavier shell. Um, now I'm just going to chop some of this up finely and then, actually I'll even do that now. What I'm going to do is put some hole, not chopped up in there, just to give the birds a chance to uh, have a bit larger pieces if they'd like to. I like to chop them up that's no problem with me and I'm gonna chop these ones up so let's have a look at those uh, when I've done the job now I'm sorry about the cramped nature of this video but uh, I'm reorganizing my garage and uh, cleaning out a lot of old uh, a lot of old rubbish that I've found uh, and actually some bird products that I've had sort of that have fallen down the back of shelves and have been in here for years and I haven't known about that suddenly I found so <laughs> I'm sort of stuck in the corner here for the moment so please excuse the fact that it's such a uh, small workspace okay so here's that shell chopped up now as you can see I haven't chopped it up a lot but just enough that um, yeah that it's a lot finer uh, a lot more palatable for your smaller finches so that is going to go in with the chunkier stuff Okay, now part two is going to be my charcoal here. I'm going to try and attempt to do this one-handed. Uh, now this does make a little bit of a mess. Um, now again, I will uh, put some in chunky, <laughs> you could say. And uh, all we do is put some in here a bit finer. And I'll put some in a bit chunkier there. And uh, yeah, next up we're going to do some charcoal. Okay, there you go. That's the charcoal. So as you can see, it's um, a lot smaller pieces than what it, how it sort of comes. Um, again, I do, I do put chunky parts in there um, for the finches to have a crack at. Um, but I've also got a lot finer pieces here too. So um, that is going to go in next. Pretty cool smoke effect there. Uh, next, I'll be adding in my mineralized grit and standard grit now that's going to go straight in there um, but what we're going to do is uh, mix up some of this thicker oyster shell okay so there's some of the oyster shell i put in whole and here's the part i'm going to mix up okay now i put some of the mineralized grit in and then the finer um, old school <laughs> shell grit in there and now here's that mixed up oyster shell uh, of course, I already put in the, some of the thicker parts of it in there. Okay, so next part is some of the um, the eggshell. It's going to be put in about yay much. Sorry, I don't know how much that is. It's it's not a whole heap. As I said, I I actually I put in a lot more uh, when they need it. 
Um, as uh, it's a little bit harder to come by uh, this this eggshell, I know it's um, it's it's from a, a, a very safe supplier, and that's one thing. Just make sure when you are adding anything into a grit mix, make sure it's something from a trusted uh, supplier, especially your charcoal. Uh, you don't want any nasties in there poisoning the birds. But as you can see, it's coming along pretty nicely there. I'll get you a bit of a closer view. And of course we'll mix it up a bit more at the end. Um, it's got a bit of everything in there. So that was the eggshell. Okay, next is going to be some uh, cuttlefish. Now what I'm going to do is basically get a cuttlefish here, a small one, and put it, put, put it into smaller pieces. And uh, put it straight into there and chop her up into uh, little finer pieces. Okay, there you go. So that was one piece all chopped up. Now, as I said earlier, there's always uh, cuttlefish in the cage for them, but I find uh, it's quite good to get into the mix and get a few smaller pieces in there. Some birds sort of uh, stay away from the larger piece. Perhaps there's uh, other birds that are sort of a bit more dominant, chase them away from the larger piece, and there's always some uh, in the grit mix. So let's chop that up and have a look. Okay, so there's the cuttlefish all chopped up. Now it chops up very easily. I probably overdid it a little bit this time around. Uh, but that's going to go straight in there. Um, and then as I go along, I, I quite often just put some larger chunks, let's say. Let me just grab a piece here. Just for an example, I, I grab some of the leftover pieces and chuck some chunkier pieces in there. like so. Oh, I've got another small little end piece here. And I grab some chunkier pieces there as well. So, doing this with one hand a little bit trickier. Okay, mix that in as well. It's coming along quite nicely. Okay, so next is going to be uh, my mineral blocks now. Just going to get access to them here. So the first one, of course, is going to be my yellow block. Just going to crumble that up there. And I'm going to grab a fair chunk of the red block, and that's going to be crumbled up in there. That stuff is great. Now I usually probably need a little bit more. What I'm going to do is just. Add in the contents of the mineral block holding station. <laughs> put in a little bit there, and I may just put in a little bit more of the uh, the uh, red block here because I love this stuff. So do the birds. So there you go, and that gives it a little bit of a little bit of a chunkier chunkier flavor okay so last but definitely not least is going to be these two uh, bells here calcium bell and a tonic bell so I'm going to put those in a little bag I'm going to smash them up with a hammer which will make them into smaller pieces then put them uh, inside here and get them sort of to a palatable size okay now that was very uh, therapeutic as you can see, just remember to remove your little uh, stainless steel hooks that they put in them for hanging them in your cage. Pull those out before you uh, go to put them in your mixer. So there you go. Anyway, that's uh, after the fact. I'm going to put those in the mixer and we're going to make a little uh, finer mix of tonic bell and calcium bell. Okay, so there you have it. There's uh, the bell mixers. Now I've left it reasonably chunky still. Um, but yeah, a lot, lot finer, a lot more uh, accessible. Little finches, so that's going to go in. So yeah, usually I would put, uh, I guess that would be, I may usually make about half a tub of this at a time. So that would be one, one bell of each in a tub like this. I'll give it a really good mix now. That's all of our components. Now, usually at the end, I have a bit of a look and see if uh, see how the mix is looking. 
Now those are a couple of larger pieces of the bells. I may actually chop those up. Any of these larger pieces. That's a piece of uh, shell grit. So I'll just put those aside for the moment. Oh, actually. No, it's not going to. Okay. Okay, so sorry, not shell grit. That was... Uh, there's so many components going in, going into this. <laughs> that was cuttlefish. Okay, so yeah, we've got a pretty good mix here. So yeah, essentially, that's what I'm going to be uh, feeding to my finches um, as their grit mix. So I'm going to leave this part of the video there, and I'm going to pack up everything. <laughs> and uh, it's getting a bit late in the day. Uh, but the next part of this video, I'll just uh, what I'll do is I'll put in a little bowl of this grit mix, and we can have a look at some of the finches coming in and enjoying it. So thanks for watching this first part, and I think you'll enjoy the second part even more.